Hey everybody! I need just a moment to get everything ready, but I'm here and I'm excited to keep doing some Byleth uh, cosplay leather work today. Here we go. I'm also wearing my Aries shirt. Um, this is ordered straight from Streamlabs. You can get your own by going down below this video to the info box where there is a Streamlabs merch store and you can buy your very own Aries shirt. I'm actually really happy with the quality. It's very like comfy, the, the fabric is soft. It's like a unisex fit um, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have this. So yay, Aries merch. <laughs> um, and today we're gonna get started doing some leather work for this Byleth cosplay. Um, this is a design that I'm working on. I did a previous stream this week where we patterned the armor and ended up with a mock-up that looks like this. And so this is going to now be made out of leather. Ta-da! And I have my um, leather all right here ready to be worked on and, and traced and cut out and stuff. Um, I've had this leather in my stash for a few years now. Thank you so much, J Kitty, for your resub. Um, now going on two months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that support. Um, hi there, Jonathan. Jonathan, an alien dude. Zippity, Rena Bean, Fox and Box, and we got a lot of people here today. Um, so these are the armor. Oh, I gotta switch my camera view to show you this. These are the pattern pieces that we worked on last time. Um, I got an envelope ready for them. This is just like a large vanilla envelope that I use to store pattern pieces when I'm done with them. Um, but for now, we'll just start with the biggest piece first. And we are gonna do um, two cuts of this piece that are each a mirror image of the other. And in order to get started, I basically just need to find the right position, which this seems fine. I'll square things up so you can see it on camera a little bit more. Cool. So unlike, well, I guess it's similar to fabric in that you want to just slowly use up the piece starting as, as close as you can to the edge when you're working with leather. Um, I guess it's not much different. I think it's a little better this way. And you want to just kind of conserve as much space as you can. I'm going to be tracing these pieces onto my leather with a leather pen, which is uh, designed for this work. And it is a pen that is going to show up really nicely with silver, silvery ink, I hope. Unless this pen is all dried out. It's been so long since I've done any web leather work. Come on, work with me, baby. Okay, the ink just needed to be coaxed out. I have to talk to it sweetly, and then it will, <laughs> will work. Today has been beautiful. The sun is out. I went out for coffee, and I was very tempted to try to do another outdoor stream, but... Um, as much fun as I had yesterday, I really want to keep making cosplay progress. So I'll keep interspersing the forest exploration streams with our crafting streams and just kind of let the weather guide us. <laughs> um, I've been so antsy for sunny days ever since I decided to take to the woods in my streams. And it's been a really good decision for just like mental health, being more active. Um, and I just need more exercise in general just to stay, uh, stay active, keep getting out there. So I'm going to keep doing those for sure. I've also been talking to one of our emote artists all day today and, uh, there are new emotes being worked on as we speak that are almost ready for submission. So 
those are all very exciting developments on my end. Never forget to sweet talk your pens, Rena Bean. Oh, for sure. I always got to sweet talk the pens. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't even cut my other holes out of this piece. Let me do that. This is just my pattern piece right now. I never marked the second second hole, so. <laughs> my tool is not very sharp if it doesn't even want to cut the paper, but still did an okay job. I have to grind that one and sharpen it up before I keep going with the leather. But anyway, we won't be punching holes today, probably. We're just going to be tracing things and then cutting. Um, and there are quite a few steps involved in leather work. Although, I wouldn't say that it's difficult. I guess it kind of has a, you need a practiced hand, but anybody can do this. You just, um, it helps to know what order to go in. There's a lot of steps and a lot of ways to approach things. So I just flipped my pattern piece very carefully. Um, got to be mindful of that because there's nothing worse than getting all of your pieces cut out and then realizing, oh crap, I forgot to flip it and I don't have mirror images and then you just wasted some leather. So that has absolutely happened to me before. <laughs> Once I cut something out wrong twice in a row, in fact. So there's my fail to help <laughs> uh, encourage those of you, I guess, who are new to this. the pen is flowing now again. Um, my leather roll is a little bit curled up, which is normal. I guess I could have used some water to relax it first, but you just want to make sure that it's as flat as possible when you're actually tracing and cutting um, so that you don't get too much distortion. Hi there, hot dog flavored soda. That's quite the name, quite the nickname there. How's my day been? Pretty good. Oh, sorry, Dark Wolf Hero is having some internet issues. Well, we'll see you next time. Sorry you can't stick around. I have my iced latte. It's all ready to go. I am working on cosplay. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm glad to have company. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, okay, so here's a spot where I can potentially work in an oddly shaped piece or two. Or maybe just like that. That actually seems like a better use of my space. Okay, and I think this piece is symmetrical, so I don't actually have to flip it, although it would be good practice to always do it anyway to keep that in mind. I could also use pattern weights, but I don't really trust them to not move on this, uh, curly piece of leather, so we're just gonna keep holding this down. We're just gonna hold it down by manual pressure. There we go. The 
So I've had this leather on hand for a few years. This is left over from one of my other projects, which is why it's a relatively small cut. Oops. Just trace on my pattern a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to mark things like center points yet because I can and will do that once the piece is cut and can like measure things. You said I had coffee earlier, did I? No, I just, I went out for coffee and I brought it back. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes I have more than one coffee. Alien Dude says, this is actually the perfect backdrop for my job of never ending spreadsheets. I need to know there are fonts of creativity in the world. Well, thank you. I do my best. That's why we're here. But thanks for joining in, even if this is just a backdrop uh, or background noise to your regular workday. That's, uh, I mean, I'm glad to have you along and be part of your, your day. And also feels really good to be on the move creatively. I've been working my way up to gradually bigger and bigger projects, trying to not burn myself out by biting off more than I can chew. And so I just recently this week announced this cosplay project, which most of you already probably know if you're here, but in case any random people are out there who just stumbled upon this stream, uh, it's been a long time since I did a cosplay and I'm really excited to be making one again. Um, I've just been setting small achievable goals and gradually working my way back up. A Petty says, hey, nice shirt. Thank you. Don't forget, you can get your own. And if you purchase one during the stream, it'll give you a live uh, stream notification. So if you're thinking about it, you should definitely do it while I'm live so I'll know. And everyone will know who got an Aries shirt. All right, so here are the, some of the larger pieces. I'm actually gonna put these into my folder for safekeeping. And now I'm moving on to my smaller. <laughs> Gucci Ghost is listening with the, or is watching with no sound because they're in class. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you here anyway, Gucci Ghost even if you don't know that I'm talking to you right now. Okay, now I'm just looking at the rest of my leather and trying to determine like what will make good placement. I think I'll keep using up this section over here. <laughs> Alien Dude says the Gucci Ghost is a real MVP, keeping those viewer numbers up. I mean, hey, yes, thank you. Thanks for being another viewer, even if you can't listen. Um. Here we are with the hand pieces. I didn't even measure what thickness of leather I'm using. <laughs> but I would say this might be close to an eight ounce leather. I have a, a little gauge that I can use to check it. So I'll check it uh, before I actually post that information so that other people can have an accurate reference. But um, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm using. I'm using something that I already had on hand. Cause you know, oh crap, I should have put that one right there. Oh well, where else can I put it? I can just do the second one right there. Dang it, that would have been so smart. Come on, Heidi, why didn't you do that? I could retrace this on top of itself, but then a lot of the time the pen leaves really faint marks on the surface, like impressions rather than, um, rather than like actual markings. That could work. And then I would just have another one back to back. Sure. I'm just kind of solving the problem as I go. That's why it's a better idea 
See, don't do what I just did and work from the largest piece to the smallest because it's usually the easiest to fit them together that way. And so if I had taken my own advice just now, I would have drawn both of these long skinny weird pieces first before drawing this one, but I didn't. So learn from me by not doing what I just did and you'll probably have a better time. But hey, every project has a certain amount of trial and error that goes into it, so maybe you can watch my errors and then not make them yourself. I just realized, when was the last time I did actual leather work like this? Maybe it was, it might have actually been my Winter Zelda costume? The last time I did some serious leather work, because I made that belt for her. Ugh, it's been a while. That was like two years ago almost. Wraith Knight is asking, do you use a 3D printer to build other aspects of your costume? Um, I don't personally own a 3D printer, but I will definitely be incorporating some 3D printed parts into this costume. Um, so a lot of my friends have 3D printers, and one of my local friends has one that she's offered to use to print things if I need. But um, I'm also probably just going to purchase kits that have been 3D modeled by others since I don't have that 3D modeling skill or a printer. Um, so there are some really nice kits out there. There's one by Dangerous Ladies that I've been looking at that includes the dagger and the chest emblem. And they are like nicely prepared. I think they were originally 3D modeled, but then the kit itself is a resin cast, which is really nice because resin is more sturdy and solid than a 3D print. Um, and so I can get those kit pieces and then just put that together. If you'd like to support that, you can donate either here on Twitch or to my coffee page, which I've recently been upgrading and trying to make that a bit of a more interactive spot where I will post um, progress for anybody who is interested in, I guess, a more detailed detailed updates about what goes into each piece. Um, and most of those posts will be free for everyone with a couple posts here and there that'll be for subscribers only. So I'm just kind of testing this stuff out, seeing how it goes. If people are willing to support, if that works out, then awesome. If not, then I'll try something else and keep figuring it out. Um, Zippity says the only way to learn is from messing up. That's true. Okay, I have two copies of each piece here with anything that is not symmetrical having been mirrored. So this is, I think, a pretty good use of my leather. It might be kind of hard to see all of the edges, but I've got, I've got my pieces kind of like shoved down along the edge of this. And now I'm gonna cut this section out from the rest so that I have a little bit more ability to maneuver things. Um, but otherwise, we're ready to cut. Hi, Mythic Phoenix. Welcome. Sorry, Blixed Hand has to leave just, oh, but it's almost midnight in Sweden. Well, thanks for tuning in and thanks for coming to say hi and support, even if you can't stick around. Um, Miranda Lena um, Amelden is asking, am I in the U.S.? Yes, I am. In, uh, I live in the Seattle area. Um, and so I'm on the west coast of the U.S. So for me, it is about 3 p.m. right now. But I know we have a lot of viewers in other parts of the world, which is really awesome. It's great to have a, a large and diverse community. So I've, I've gotten to be quite a bit more consistent with my streaming times. And so hopefully I can <laughs> uh, commit to a like a very a more specific streaming schedule soon. It's been one of my goals to work my way up toward that. But I wanted to make sure that I was in the habit and had a good solid routine of um, consistently streaming around the same time or getting into the habit of doing it every single weekday. And so that's where I'm at right now. Okay, next I'm using my Zelda mug. Here you go, you can see it in the face cam. Zelda mug. With a, it's, this just has water in it. <laughs> oh, hi, Artful Jackalope. Um, just an aimless German. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so this is now a forbidden drink full of water that I am loading into a sponge and I'm going to use this to make it easier to cut through the leather. Um, let me show you how that goes. I'm just wetting smaller sections at a time and I have a knife here. Oh, dang it. One of my fairy houses is getting in the way. <laughs> Our beautiful pastel fairy house that we made in the last, I don't know, last week. We finished that up. It has not yet been removed from my work surface. <laughs> no, Zippity, you can't drink it. You always want to drink and eat the forbidden foods. Okay. So this is quite thick. I mean, the, in terms of the leather that I'm using. So I might need to make multiple cuts to get through it. And I'm basically going to try to create a solid outline that separates the pieces of leather that I've traced away from the main bulk of the sheet. This leather is so dry, it's absorbing the water so quickly. Uh, yes, it is extra thick. Everybody in the chat is coming through with this thick. You know what? I'm like, I think I'm gonna get a fresh blade into this one instead of using this exacto knife. This is the one that actually came with my leather kit. Um, I'm totally gonna cut myself if I don't do this right. <laughs> Give me this. I'm not gonna try to do this at a distance. Here we go. That's that's how the blade dispenser works. See, I did it. I did it. And I have a sharps container. I'm not a total idiot. So, get rid of that old one that we don't need. Here it is. Fresh blade. Which has been inserted into our heavy duty handle. There we go. Safety first. Yeah, these blade, well it's just like, a pack of 50 blades, but it comes in a dispenser, which is kind of nice. And that way you can easily handle one at a time instead of like digging your fingers into a box full of exacto knife blades, which would uh, potentially lead to disaster. Hi, Abby Breeze, welcome. Jonathan said they could, he could watch me all day. Well, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I would love to be a full-time streamer. I just gotta, get better, do more. Okay, instead of going back, I'm actually gonna just keep moving forward. You just gotta keep moving forward. So once again, grabbing my little sponge. I'm gonna connect these lines first. I'm just gonna stand up and I'm probably gonna be working over my piece and blocking it at times, but just please be patient with me. We'll get through this. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can hear that. It's like cutting deeper. Deeper and better. Well, thank you, uh, Miranda Lena in the chat says that the work is impressive. I am doing my best. I'm a little out of practice, which is why I make comments about <laughs> this. But the truth is that I do know what I'm doing, for the most part. <laughs> Just getting back in the habit. Oh yeah, this is slicing so much more nicely. I feel like it's going all the way through in this section. I'm going to be careful and slow while cutting. I don't know if you can really tell, but my 
traced pen lines are disappearing with the water. That's the uh, gimmick of this leather pen. Um, and then of course I'm cutting along where the lines are or were, so it might not be obvious, but um, the lines, this is like a, a water soluble pen. And so that is doing its job and those lines are disappearing as they get wet. They don't like 100% disappear, but they get a lot fainter. And so if you do it uh, at the same time, you can get pretty nice results. And so you don't ever want to fight or put too much pressure on the knife. I am gliding it very gently and it might look like I'm gripping it pretty hard or whatever, but oh, that's beautiful. That's what a fresh blade will do is give you those really nice butter smooth cuts. And that way you don't have to fight the material or, or struggle to get all the way through. Okay. Let me set that aside briefly. I'm just going to turn it around over here. I'm going to go back over these lines that did not fully separate because I didn't have a sharp enough blade. Oh. It's not all the way cut up here either. I got it. Um, if you can put a really sharp smooth cut in it, then if you trace the lines with the blade again, you usually get really clean, smooth results. This one's not, <laughs> not super clean and smooth. But we're going to clean it up before moving all the way through this project, so it's going to turn out great, don't worry. And if it doesn't, then I'll do it again. Okay, that the material was like tugging on it. So once again, you don't want to force it. Just doing gentle lines. I'll start from up here. Listening to the leather cutting sound is always really satisfying for me. Hopefully that is actually coming across on camera and you can enjoy it too. Now there are some specialty leather knives out there that will help you cut shapes and curves really smoothly. But I don't have any of those. And you can definitely use really sharp, fresh X-Acto blades for that purpose. So that's what I'm relying on. I don't know if you noticed, but I can also, I also cut my fingernails for this project because wet leather um, takes impressions so easily that you can accidentally um, get fingernail marks in it just from working, okay. So I'm, I've got to free up that one last little corner and then it's totally separate. Um, my, Randalina is asking, do I know where I'm going to cosplay Byleth and like when I'll be finished? Uh, my goal right now is to do, bring this costume to SakuraCon, which is local for me. It is in Seattle in April. So I have about two months to finish. And I think that that will be a pretty good time frame if I just keep working hard. All right, now we have liberated our main piece from all of the extra. And now I can more easily cut the rest of these pieces apart from each other. 
so we're just gonna do that. <laughs> it looks like a strange map. Yeah, it kind of does. So my shiny silver lines are disappearing with the water, but not before I can cut along them. Mythic Phoenix said that this is an interesting process to watch. It's been so long since I've done any leather work, but this used to be like my specialty. I mean, I guess it still is. Back at it. It's one of the big reasons why I picked Byleth. I mean, I feel like most of the Fire Emblem characters would be good candidates for nice leather work pieces, but, um, I don't know, Byleth just really spoke to me. <laughs> and that deep cut sound, hell yeah. Now once again, I'm not really putting a lot of pressure on this. Let the blade just glide and make sure your fingers are out of the way of the direction you're cutting. <laughs> Best lover, you know. Says Zippity. Well, thanks. I am I try to be a good leatherer. <laughs> Leather worker. But yeah, I thought about just like starting off small with maybe doing some leather work commissions. Um, there's a lot of leather pieces that I would love to tackle. I think it's something that more cosplayers are learning to incorporate. Alright, there's that. Which is your favorite Fire Emblem game? To be honest, I haven't played that many, but I'm really enjoying um, this Three, um, three Houses playthrough. Uh, I've been watching it play through of uh, the Black Eagles route currently holding off waiting until Friday for my friend Lee to come back because we watched four hours straight last Friday and uh, I want to finish it up with her here because it's more fun when you have a friend to talk to about everything going on. Okay, I'm going to save some of the scraps. Not all of them. This is just garbage. Um, some of these larger scraps I used to make little swatches out of so that I can hang on to samples of different dye and paint colors. So I'll probably do that with some of my extra pieces. And now I have more opportunity to kind of uncurl this thing too. Yeah, I really like watching playthroughs of games when I don't necessarily have time to play every new thing, but I want to, like, know what's up with the fandom. And Fire Emblem has just, like, totally taken over the cosplay world right now, and I wanted to be involved in that, so. Lee was the one who got me on board with this project, and so we were watching the Black Eagles playthrough together, although she has actually played all of the games. Or, I think... Probably like all of the games. He's definitely played this one. Um, so it's been really fun and exciting to get into a new fandom, especially when you have friends to guide you and who are excited to convert you to it. That's always the best is when you when you join a fandom like with a friend who like loves that you're <laughs> learning about the characters and the story. 
so right now I'm still like cutting apart um, the main sections, liberating each of the main sections from each other so I can go back and clean things up. Do I like Disney? Um, I'm not like as, not as much as most people. <laughs> I guess that's a, a, the easiest way to say it. I don't like hate it, but I wouldn't consider myself a part of that fandom. If you're interested in exploring more Fire Emblem after you finish Three Houses, highly recommend Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, um, everybody loved that one. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I might have to check that out. It's always nice to have like cool background noises and stuff while you're working on things too. So if I'm not watching somebody streaming <laughs> like you are all right now, uh, that's often one of my go-to kind of entertainment background things. How do I pick what cosplays I want to do, says Sonata Prism. Well, it's been a long time since I did pick anything. I just recently started this one, like last week. Um, and the reason I picked this one was for friends, for the design, because um, I wanted a challenge, because I was excited by the way this costume looks and the methods I would potentially use to bring it together. So all of those things tend to inform my decisions. I obviously gravitate toward characters that I like, but that in itself is a huge list. So I'm often also motivated by the design itself. Um, Jess Pone says, I have the highlighted message. Uh, they like Awakening and Sacred Stones are two of the best new player friendly new player friendly games in the series after Three Houses. And also, you're super fond of Echoes. Yes, I was originally planning a Celica costume a few years ago that I was doing leather work for, and it seemed like a lot of people were interested in that outfit. I mean, I was I was doing that all on Twitch and had a an ongoing audience and project at the time, but that was when my house flooded and my Celica costume work in progress was ruined. <laughs> and that was very disappointing and just discouraging. And so I stopped working on it after that. That was originally going to be a costume project of mine. But hey, now I still have a lot of unused leather that's going towards other things. couple years ago. Yeah, that one's uh, from Shadows of Valentia. Uh, that was a couple years ago, and so I've, I've recovered from the flood. It sucked to lose things, but that is not the most recent disaster in my life anymore, so, you know. <laughs> uh, it sucked, but then I did other things. Okay. There we go. I'm very happy to be back on my bullshit, as they say. Uh, working on a new costume, getting back to my roots, kind of flexing my skills with something that I used to enjoy a lot, haven't done recently. So for all of those reasons, 
I'm very excited about the progress I'm making here. So many video games, so little time. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. I'm glad I'm here too. Just still taking it one day at a time, trying to build something for myself that I can be proud of going into the future. So it's not really bullshit, it's useful. It's good for me. <laughs> Here we are. Now, I clean up the edges with a little bit of sanding, but I'll do that after removing the majority of the extra edges and things. So I'm definitely happy to be doing cosplay again, but I'm not gonna totally only, I'm not gonna only work on these or this costume on streams, I will keep doing some of my various forest crafts and knitting streams because, or crochet streams, um, that people seem to be into as well. So yeah, my list of things to stream and create and do just keeps getting longer. But that's a good problem to have. Much better than boredom or disinterest. Just trying to trace this line with my knife before the pen disappears completely on me. When leather is really dry, it's harder to cut, so that's why I've been adding water to it before using my knife. This knife is such, it's very heavy and kind of awkward too. I guess I should just always be holding it in my whole hand, but I feel like I lose a little bit of precision that way. Now let me know what the back. will definitely help. Oh yeah, it's making a huge difference. That was like so quiet. It was so moist. <laughs> Adding water from the back is usually a good idea. I just need to be more consistent with that. Okay, another finished piece. How therapeutic is cutting up leather anyway? Very therapeutic. 
good stuff. Sometimes you just gotta sit down and cut some leather. I feel like you really accomplished something. This one has much easier angles for me to get it to. Maybe you should make yourself a costume since you're always hanging out in my streams. Then you gotta make a costume. Link costume 2020? Do it. Everyone should cosplay Link. <laughs> Do I like 60s music? Uh, I mean, I don't dislike it. It's, it's fine. I don't have any particular love for it either. Just some guy, Tian. I'm sorry you had a bad D and D experience. Oh, that's a ghost. All right, it's a joke. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Took me a minute to get the joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I've only had terrible D and D experiences, and I don't have anything constructive to add to that conversation. So sorry. Um, Fog Prince is saying I do have Link's ancient armor that you really need to finish. Yes, you should. I love seeing new costumes and um, new people joining in on their progress. Okay. And yes, you should totally join the cosplay gang. Everyone should cosplay. <laughs> or even if you aren't cosplaying, everybody should do something artistic, productive with their time, I think. It's good for you. I guess Super Mario Galaxy music. Okay, so this piece, it's not finished, but I did get it. Well, I mean, I cut it out. I don't, I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself with wet molding and detailing, but I will go be back to that. But yeah, this is the main part of the bracer, I guess, is what this is called. That feels pretty good. Getting, moving right along. Um, just some guy says they just got some leather for their Star Wars like costume idea. Got some gray colored leather to make a greeble and a vest. Nice. Good luck with that. Water first. Hi there, Navita Luna. Welcome. Glad to have you here once again. That water still looks tasty according to Zippity Zoo. It's all yours, Zippity. You can come and come and drink it. 
<laughs> but I won't be. I did not get a totally clean cut on that. I'm gonna revisit this. From the opposite side. Here we go. And I just trimmed off that extra and then the rest of this will get sanded down, which I will show you shortly. How many hospital visits will it give you if you drink this leather water? I don't know. It's a good question. Probably just one. If anybody out there is working on your own project today, please let us know what you got going on. I always like hearing about other people's creative work. And as always, you can join the Discord community where we have lots of different channels that are devoted to creating. And whatever it is that you're working on, um, you can find friendly faces who will encourage you on your way. Oh, nice. Mythic Phoenix is working on their forest rug. I'm really excited to see that coming along for you. I think it looks beautiful and it's also just exciting to know that somebody else out there is making one. Jonathan is working on a Ghostbusters suit just in time for the movie this July. Nice. I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, we have a cosplay channel in the Discord. So feel free to pop it over there and post what you're working on to get some uh, creative feedback or just camaraderie going on. <laughs> Mirandolina is make, waiting for their canvas to dry. Nice. Zippity is working on writing, book progress. Yeah, your progress photos look amazing, uh, Mythic Phoenix. It's been inspiring me to keep going on mine because I barely worked on it at all. I did those streams and then moved on to other projects, which is often the curse of the creator just having too many things going on these curvy lines can get tricky so i'm just going slowly Using a lot of water and not too much pressure or speed because it's easy for that knife to slip. And then you just stay on it and you'll eventually get some nice cuts. Galley Wally is uh, lurking while they do homework. Nice. Good luck finishing your homework. Food crafting. Uh, Rita Bean is starting on a costume, making a flower crown for a fairy costume. That's cool. Oh, Jay Sinner has said that they've been keeping these streams on in the background while drawing for the last few weeks, and it's helped them get a lot done. That's really cool. Drawing Pokemon. I'm really glad to hear that. Nice to, nice to see you here. Navita Luna knitting a beanie. Nice extra nice. I need to finish my beanies. 
I do have a problem with starting too many things and not finishing everything. Hi, Drew B. Welcome. All right. So the last couple of pieces to be cut apart. Making some good progress today. It's only been an hour. Nice. Nice, nice. definitely gonna at least get these pieces cut out today maybe do some of the edges on them too we shall see Yeah, it seems like everybody I follow on Twitter is currently going to KatsuCon, which I get it. KatsuCon is kind of a big deal if you're invested in it. Um, I used to go, uh, but at the same time, I'm just like, anybody not going to KatsuCon? Anybody else just hanging out this week? <laughs> uh, but I hope that they have fun and it's going to be exciting as always to see the amazing photos that come out of that convention. I always enjoyed it. I just can't really afford to go anymore. Ghost Frogs is, says they have no time for creative, personal creativity because they're an art student with so much homework. Well, at least you're still being creative with your homework. If you're an art student, you still have the opportunity to flex those skills and get practice to hopefully become even better with whatever the next project is that you will actually enjoy. You always wanted to work on a cosplay though? Well, you can live vicariously through the stream where I'm working cosplay now. I'm just gonna put some more extra water on the back. That's a mood, the living vicariously or the not going to Katsuko. <laughs> swap my blade out. I mean, just like flip it around because you can already see how quickly it dulls and then you don't get as smooth cuts. Although that's still pretty nice. That water is really helping out. Really doing a good job there. Oh, you know what? I'm going to check my messages because that's probably my emote artist and I want to keep up with her. Oh my gosh. Yes, I just got an emote. Love it. Okay, I have to give her feedback to keep keep everything going on track. But yes, I love I love what she just sent me. We have another new emote on the way. Heck yes. So thank you for <laughs> indulging me while I check my notifications during a stream. I usually don't do that, but it's stream related. It's streaming business. You understand, you know. But uh, we have very cute emotes on the way. She sent an excited sticker, so we're all good to go. <laughs> Oh, Ghost Frog says that I'm right and you are living vicariously through my cosplay skills. Well, thanks. I'm glad to be doing cosplay again. And I hope that you can be entertained by whatever it is I got going on here. So I'm just going to flip this because I really want super sharp cuts. So here's the fresh side. 
Ghost Frog says, glad to see me working. Thank you. And Zippity is picking up words that I use that he never uses in writing. All right, well, I'm glad to be of service. I do know some words. I know the English, English language. I used to study writing when I was much younger. I was like obsessed with wanting to be a writer. That was many years ago. So I still spent time studying writing. Oh yeah, that makes such a big difference. I was like, oh, I don't know if I should switch my blade. Always switch your blade. At least during the most vital parts of the cutting, it's super worth it to always have a very sharp blade. See, so look at that. That's great. Shy Turtle, yes, I'm wearing an Aries t-shirt. This Aries t-shirt is available in my merch store, so if you want your own, you can get one right here on this stream. The info box below. I'm going to keep promoting that every stream. <laughs> uh, this is my first time wearing it, but it's super cozy. Um, it's nice quality, so I, I had to order one to like check it out, of course, and I'm really pleased with the, the quality of the product and stuff, so... Zippy says he would enjoy reading some neat fantasy genre work. Or would I enjoy reading some neat fantasy genre work? For sure. I've, um, well, I've been reading through the Redwall series again. I finished Moss Flower. I don't, because I'm trying to go in order, like chronologically in the series. Um, I have read Martin, well, I mean, I read a lot of them when I was younger, but. Recently, I've read Martin the Warrior and Moss Flower, but I don't have the audiobook for Legend of Luke yet, so I have to wait a few days for my next Audible credit to kick in, and then I will be on Legend of Luke. But until then, I started, I got a little bit out of order and started reading Outcast or Redwall, so never fear, there's many, <laughs> many Redwall books in my library right now, my audiobook library. Wraith Knight wouldn't mind rocking an Aries wallet. I don't know if that's one of the merch options, but I will look it up and add it to the store if it is. Just for you. Zippity would love to wear one of these shirts and then just tell people that it's a band. What would you call the, what would be Ari's band name if he were a musician? Would he just be King Ares? King Ares Bahamut? That's like his regular name though. DJ Ares? What would his, what, is he a hype man? Is he a, a recording artist? I don't know. Is he a producer? <laughs> All right, Jonathan, go enjoy your Taco Bell. <laughs> King Aries Bahamut sounds like a killer power metal band. All right, yeah, I can see that. We're slowly getting to the end of this cutting process. We're nearly done. nice nice and clean and so these now are mirror images of each other where they have a sort of like notch um, sticking out from each kind Rina Bean is having a down day it hasn't been able to get started to work on anything um, but she says that being able to put this on is great to at least provide some chill relaxing vibes I'm sorry you're having a down day, but I'm glad that we can at least provide some company for you. So I'm glad that the vibes are good at the very least. 
we do our best to have good vibes all around. Oh man, that's not completely straight. Oh, I can fix it, don't worry. Alright, last cut, I think. We're down to just trimming this. The vibes are always good. Thanks. Let me try. You know, I feel down like every day, but still get on here to stream. And it always helps. It makes me feel much better. So that's one of the reasons why I keep challenging myself to keep going. Keep setting goals for myself. Not huge, well, I mean, gradually bigger goals, but attainable goals. All right, there are my pieces. Yay. Now they don't have all the detail traced onto them yet. Before I go further, I'm actually gonna grab a couple different tools. Um, can we get some hype in the chat for the cut pieces? <laughs> If you have your, your emotes, let me see them. Um, I'm gonna step off camera really quickly. I'll be back with a sanding block and an edge beveler. <laughs> There's that hype, thank you guys. Uh, give me just a moment, I shall return with more tools. drink my leather water while I'm away. Good luck drinking my water through the stream. Hydration alert. Okay, I'll hydrate. How do you make the emote go backwards? <laughs> I'm amazed. How did you accomplish this? Ella Dean. Okay. So I just went and I grabbed a trash bag for my can over here because I realized I was not using one before. Oops. Um, I also have sanding blocks like so. This one's actually more coarse. I'm gonna do this over the trash can, so let me just switch views here. Uh, I almost had the urge to drink that water. Don't let me do that! And here's my Aries shirt in its full glory. Oh, channel points let you modify emotes? Well, cool. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, so I'm just going to take this. Yeah, this probably isn't necessary for most of it because the beveling is going to smooth things out as well. But you can literally sand leather. You don't want to sand it too much and you don't want to sand the top surface because you want that to be intact. But, um,. You can absolutely smooth your cuts out, like vertical cuts through the material. Which this one's kind of, kind of a janky cut over here, so I'm trying to. It's, it works best when you do like single direction movements, like so. 
as opposed to like scrubbing it back and forth like I just tried to do. Okay, but doing this um, can help you get much nicer results. You don't need to sand a lot, but you can just make sure your corners and your edges are crisp. And sometimes it's hard to like hold the knife very precisely without getting uh, wobbly lines. And so this step just kind of smooths out your lines. All right, next piece. Um, <laughs> Starling says, I just got here and I'm so excited for my Byleth cosplay. You're impatiently waiting for the download to update, the DLC to up update. Well, thanks. Thanks for being interested in my cosplay. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I'm really excited to be working on something new. I miss some other... You want an Aries shirt now? You can get an Aries shirt. You can buy one right now from my merch store underneath this stream. Um, where is Aries now? He is napping, yes. Bishoujo Kitsune is asking, am I going to Katsu this year? No, I am not going to KatsuCon. I can no longer afford to just travel willy-nilly to conventions across the country, unfortunately, as fun as that is. It's just not in the cards anymore. But maybe someday, hopefully one day I'll be able to justify that expense again. I always had a lot of fun at Katsukon, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing photos from, um, from other people. A lot of my friends are going, a lot of photographers I follow, so there's always really fun and interesting things. You're gonna get a shirt soon, Zippity? Well, thanks. Aries appreciates it. <laughs> He likes having his face on things. Probably. <laughs> he is the king after all. Hibishojo, it was saying it was wild that one year when it was 70 degrees in February. Yes, I was there that year. That was a great year, Katsukon. Everybody was outside, it was warm. Very rare for that part of the country in that part of the year. going to town on these to smooth out my cuts. It doesn't take a lot, and I wouldn't try to sand something into like a totally new shape. It's really just for um, smoothing out something you already cut with a knife. Because you get kind of fuzzy edges some of the time, or wobbly cuts depending on how finicky the leather is or whether or not you keep a nice smooth hand while you're cutting. I especially like to do this on edges that are supposed to be straight. Zero Cryption says they love, I love you. Well, thanks. I love you too. <laughs> You'll convert many for Aries just with a shirt alone. We have to gather more loyal subjects for King Aries, this shy turtle. Well, good. I'm glad that somebody is evangelizing his presence to the world. I mean, I am today with this shirt. is the wobbly edge that really needs it. I mean, by my standards, I don't even know if you can tell <laughs> on camera, but 
The more precise, the better, because your mistakes will just get compounded eventually as you keep moving forward on a project. It happens, so. That's why the best method is to be precise through every step of the way and try to get the best results and make any corrections you can as you go to get the best outcome. Aries is a beautiful cat, fluffy yet elegant indeed. <laughs> Yeah, he has, he's barely shown himself on my streams lately. Might have to bring him down here one of these times. He just spends most of his, like the majority of the day sleeping, <laughs> which I respect. I mean, wouldn't we all if we could? So, Aries will arrive when it's his time to arrive, rather than being trotted out. <laughs> on days when he's busy getting his beauty rest. Well, it's done with these. We can move on to beveling the edges. like leather dust all over me now. Shy Turtle says, oh, to be a slumbering king adored by his people, right? Sounds like a good life. Our fairy king, Aries. But yesterday I did another one of those walking through the woods live streams and it went really well. I've I gotta keep doing those and just kind of like testing the water and get more uh, comfortable, I guess. I mean, I feel comfortable enough doing them, but it's more of like creating, creating that mood, creating that uh, routine. But I would love to get out and do that more often. I'm not a very active person. I know that's probably shocking. I stay inside and work on cosplay all the time. Baptiche says, hi, I love your hair. Thank you. I like it too. <laughs> um, but anyway, whenever I go out on a long walk, especially when, it's, when you're heading up and down on the trails, I can always like feel it the next day. So, that definitely happened to me this morning where I woke up slightly groggy and just being like, well, I guess I need more exercise. <laughs> so I'm going to feel tired after just walking around in the forest for like 40 minutes or whatever it was. So that's more motivation for me to get back in the habit, go out more, get more exercise. That's good for my body and my brain. Shy Turtle says, I didn't get to catch it live, but it was cool of you to pick up all that trash. Thanks. I mean, I only did a little bit, but that's how you eventually get more done. And you start with the small things. You start with the little goals and you just pick up the trash in one area and then you move on and do more and more areas. Let's get exercise. We're getting fit in 2020. That would be nice. <laughs> Okay, back to overhead screen. Got my sanding tools set aside. I don't need those anymore. So these are all of my smoothed edges on each piece. And they still have some of that, some of the fuzziness. And that's not really gonna go away because it's leather and that's how this works. Uh, Bishojo Kitsune is asking, what are my plans for Byleth stockings? Are you making them from scratch? No, I uh, found a design on Amazon that's really similar and I think looks really nice. And so I'm just gonna go with those. 
All right, I'm gonna test out some different beveler sizes. Number two, number three. This is what I used to use almost everything. And number five, I don't need that. Number two, but a different style. I forgot I had this one. This is like the fifth, this is a pro tool and this is the, the cheaper version. Okay, so several things. First of all, this is just a little test piece, so I'm testing the bubbler by using a scrap. It's a nice cut. What about the sides? Yeah, that looks good. So this step is going to give me the effect of rounded edges like going around this way rather than a harsh 90 degree angle on those cuts so this edge has not been beveled and it's just completely flat versus this edge that is beveled and if you get close enough there on the camera it kind of creates a round edge um, it looks a little bit more finished and professional so i'm happy with this tool i'm going to go ahead Baptiste says on a scale for 10, 0 to 10, one, you rate my chillness so a 100. Wow, I am more than 10 times more chill than the max chillness rating. Thanks. That's right, more tools. So I'm just going to go bit by bit around these edges that I've cut. You want to do this in one smooth controlled motion if you can, which doesn't always happen, but it's good to aim for that. Let's see, like, my line just broke a little bit, but when you can get it right, you get a very nice smooth edge. I'm chill till it's time to cut leather. Then my knife comes out. My true passion shows itself. <laughs> it's both dangerous and expensive to do leather work. I mean, to some degree. I guess it's dangerous to work with any kind of sh sharp tools. I feel like it's easier to hurt yourself with a little bitty exacto knife than it is to hurt yourself with bigger tools a lot of the time. Because you let you let your guard down around like the little bitty knives, and then if they're super sharp, you can just you know, accidentally jam it into your finger before you realize what's going on. So in that sense, yeah, it's occasionally dangerous, but that's I feel like it's still very low on the scale of danger compared to like I don't know other jobs. Well, I'm glad that these chill streams can bring some calm and good vibes to people in need of good vibes. We have good vibes factory here. You gotta pass that vibe check. <laughs> so I am repeating this motion on both the front and the back. Um, I don't always do front and back at the same time, but I think that's actually more efficient for my use of water. My little sponge over here. Working with leather can really dry out your hands. It's like a constant issue. So whenever the stream is over, I'll have to rush to moisturize. All right, there's a piece that has been rounded and beveled, smoothed out. So we are well on our way to getting these pieces ready for assembly. I 
Maybe we get more careless with the smaller tools. Yeah, that for sure happens. You feel safe with an X-Acto knife because it's so little. And then that's how you get yourself. <laughs> you lull yourself into that false sense of security. I have definitely jammed these beveling tools into my fingers accidentally before. And even though it's not sharp on the outside, it's just sharp like in between there, it still do some damage. <laughs> if you shove anything hard enough into your skin, it will hurt. What's my worst crafting energy or is or injury? Is that a general question for the chat too? I've been really lucky to not have hardcore injuries from anything I've crafted. Um, I mean, I've definitely had small cuts and hot glue burns, but I have friends who've like lost body parts and, you know, lost fingers or lost feeling in parts of their hands and things like that. Um, so I feel like I am still have only some very mild injuries. I don't have a very juicy answer for that. It's all fun and games to so get a sewing needle in your eye. I once sewed through my finger on a sewing machine. So if you've ever done that out there, I've done it too. <laughs> um, it's uh, not fun. I didn't, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I think it was, I think it was this finger. It's, I mean, I don't have any kinds of scars, but it definitely punctured my, my nail. <laughs> It was when I was working as Kathy's intern at God Save the Queen Fashions. So I definitely was like trying to be on my best behavior, give my best best effort to the job. And so I accidentally sew through my finger on my own machine right in front of her. But she put a, a Hello Kitty Band-Aid on me. So <laughs> it was a bonding moment. <laughs> it was totally fine. The injury was not that bad. It was just embarrassing. It didn't even hurt that much. It just made me feel stupid. <laughs> hi there, uh, Nikki Christmas says, hi, I do leather work too. Do you have a hard time sharpening your beveling tools? Yeah, those are kind of a pain in the butt. I have a grinding tool for the Dremel that I use to um, get in there, especially for like these little hole punches. Um, with a round grinding bit on your Dremel, you can just like push it into the center there and sharpen things like that. And that will also work on items like this, but it's definitely not easy. Luckily this one is sharp enough to meet my needs right now. It's really hard to get into these corners nicely, but I'm gonna do my best. Luckily, this corner is mostly hidden. <laughs> you guys have some wild stories in the chat sometimes. Where I'm just like, all right, I don't know where that came from, but thanks for the input. <laughs> but regardless, I'm always glad to have people here to hang out with and chat with me and share what you're up to. Today. Today's Wednesday. I've already done two cosplay streams and gotten out into the forest. So I gotta decide what the rest of my week is gonna be composed of. I mean, I am kind of on a roll with this cosplay. It's 
So maybe I'll just keep going and assembling or tooling my leather. It would be pretty exciting to get a piece finished right away. Um, a lot of the time I'll do like all of my patterning at once or all of my cutting at once and kind of work methodically that way. But I figured that for a live stream where people are watching, it'll be easier to follow along if we do like one whole section of the project and the next section of the project. Um, so yeah. Navita Luna's heading to bed. Thanks for coming and hanging out in the stream. Always glad that you can make it even though your time zone isn't convenient for my streams. But I'm happy that you show up anyway when you can. Zippity says he needs to have a latte ready for the next stream. I've always got a latte ready for my streams. Well, not always, but mostly. It's one thing I do, use to motivate myself of like, well, if I get up and do my work, then I can go get a latte. And we have that latte emote that has been submitted. Oops, I just dropped some water. That's not gonna be a problem, it'll just dry up. Um, but yes, I will often motivate myself with coffee. <laughs> Hi, Komashika. What's fluffier, latte foam or Aries? Definitely Aries. He's an extra large pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> that was kind of a whole chunk, but got it. Can't drink Aries though, that's true. He wouldn't enjoy that. These will help me get into that corner better. I did. All right. It's only a few more weeks until Aries' birthday party, which will be held here on Twitch.tv. March 1st. So don't forget, March 1st, save the date. It's the day when the boy turns 13 years old and he will be the future of our stream on that day. Harry's big birthday bash, that's right. You are formally invited to my cat's birthday party. Have I already gotten him a gift? Not yet. I was gonna get some stuff for the stream like maybe some cat wine. <laughs> I have cat nip for him. It's fresh. Oh, I just ran out of regular cat food this morning and have to go to the store to um, feed him before this evening or he's gonna be big mad. He'll be fine. I'll get him his favorite food. He has so many cat toys already that it's almost like, what would he even do with another one? But maybe he needs a fresh one. I don't know. It has been some months since he got his last new cat toy. So maybe he just deserves another one on principle. We're all discussing time zones in the chat today. I'm on US Pacific Coast time. Your kitty turns 10 in April, so you're soaking up these ideas. Throw them a party. But yeah, I'll have cat toys, cat nip, maybe some cat wine if I find it cheaply somewhere. Or can order it in time. 
The cat wine is literally just like some kind of drink for them that I think has catnip in it. I don't know. I've never tried it before. I've just, well, obviously I haven't tried it. I've never given it to him before. Um, I've just seen it advertised, but could be cute. See you later, Baptiash. Thanks for coming to the stream. It'll definitely be a new experience for him. I hope he enjoys it. I mean, he always enjoys attention. Oh, I already did that side. I mean, he's a cat. He enjoys attention, so that will go well. I also have a friend coming into town on that day. So I'll have a buddy on my stream, most likely. I asked her if she was cool with being on my stream for the birthday party. She said yes. Oh, Baptiash likes how I pronounced their nickname. Well, I often have to just guess on the pronunciation, so hopefully that wasn't terribly wrong. Baptiash, I think is what I said the first time. Baptiash is sounding those letters out. <laughs> nice. Ideal when you can get it to all come off in one little string. Okay. Okay, because your nickname is a contraction of Bapt T and Ash. So I did kind of pronounce it right, I guess. Bapt T Ash. I'm always just having to make wild guesses about how to pronounce different usernames, but thanks for putting up with me. Oh, I've got like too much moisture in this corner. The back is a little bit harder to get off in one section because it kind of crumbles, but the front is a little bit more important anyway. progress today. We've already got the pieces cut and they're going to be edged and beveled before the end of the stream for sure. When I'm done with this step, I'll have to decide whether I'm going to push forward today or work on other things. I'm still trying to learn how to balance my time between streaming and working on my store, but always making at least a little bit of progress on both. small pieces left. These are my last ones that need to be get the edges beveled and these are all done. Thank you Zippity. I'm excited to be moving along with this. Did this piece not get sanded? It looks weird. Make sure I got my rounded edges up here. Yeah, I must have somehow not sanded this one. Got 
got all this leather dust all over me now. It's that hype. Arena cocoa bean. I like that. Oh, hi, donut.png. Thank you. It's nice to see you here saying they're so glad that I'm cosplaying again. I appreciate that. I'm really glad. I'm, I'm really happy to be cosplaying again. Feels good to get back to my roots and what I love doing. Okay, I'm gonna have to like revisit that very edge and go in a different direction. Like so. Uh -huh. Oh, and hello, uh, Kelly three o ninety nine. Always happy to see new faces and familiar screen names in the chat. So thank you for those of you who have. If you're tuning in for the first time or just coming to check it out, thanks. All right, these are kind of the, the tricky points where it gets really narrow, but we'll work our way through it. This is where I have to be careful to not dig my fingernails into anything because if I do, you'll be able to see those little, those little half moon indentions. It's hard to have any sort of longer fingernails when you're working with leather. Okay, time for the back. Shoujo Kitsune says, I feel that cosplaying Byleth would be fun because if you're not feeling, if you're feeling tired, their face is emotionless anyway. True. That's so many like JRPG protagonists, honestly. Um, but yes, I agree. I can do that resting bitch face. I can do that. I'm so bored. I don't want to be here face. <laughs> and, um, you know, sometimes you, uh, the end of a day at a convention, you get really tired, interacting with a lot of people, it gets really draining. <laughs> it's nice when you can just be in character by having a solemn face. That's how I basically did things with uh, Zelda, my Twilight Princess Zelda. I am so lucky that she's not a smiley princess because I can just hold my face poised or whatever and be believably in character, I guess you could say, without having to just like constantly smile. Cause that costume got very exhausting to wear around um, for like full costume days. Uh, Donut says they're playing the Black Eagles route now. I That's the one I'm watching. I'm not technically playing, I'm watching the playthrough, but that's the one I'm on to. Oh, hi Nikolai, welcome. Oh, Mythic Phoenix says, as an artist, they have to be all smiley and happy all day at cons. Yeah, like sitting in, if you're like running a booth or something, it's like a full day of work interacting with people. Um, that doesn't happen all the time. Obviously, it depends a lot on what costume you're wearing, but like if I'm wearing a bigger costume like Zelda, where I just get a lot more interaction in general, like you can wear your face out smiling for like a full day of photo shoots and stuff but it's been a really long time since that's happened to me. But it is a real thing. <laughs> you played Golden Deer, the meme house. Yeah, I agree. Claude is a bit of a memer. Whenever, <laughs> when we were watching the playthrough, Liam and I were talking about him and I was just like, this guy is like a frat boy. Like he feels like he doesn't even belong in the game. And she's like, yeah, I totally understand what you mean. <laughs> But um, he's still pretty cute, and I've seen some really nice cosplays of Claude, so. You love Claude? I mean, I think all of the characters are good in their own way. 
You're too gay for Edelgard to do anything but black eagles, Rena. I don't blame you. Edelgard just reminds me of Daenerys so much. She just looks like a Daenerys. But yes, I have seen some... I'm like following everybody's cosplay progress. And honestly, that's one of the things that got me interested in Fire Emblem is because it's so heavily cosplayed right now. Everybody's talking about it. Who's... Which characters who, who do they ship together, you know, who did they pursue, you know, for marriage as the main character, etc, etc. And I was just like, I want to be a part of this fandom. I want to, I want to play with my friends. So that's what really got me to officially was like, to officially decide that this is my next costume. All right, last two pieces here. Somebody please draw Daenerys Edelgard. It's gotta be out there. Like surely some fan artist came up with that already. But she's got that like silver hair, purple eye thing. It's funny to like be learning about all of the different characters that have already kind of created like mental associations for the characters to different cosplayers I follow. And obviously that's just like a headcanon thing as they call it. But like learning each of the each of the new characters comes in in the game and I like see a scene with them and get to know a little bit about them and in my head I'm just like, oh, that's gonna be so and so. They're cosplaying them. And so it's exciting. And probably super nerdy that I'm just like, oh, it's it's such and such friend of mine <laughs> instead of like the actual character in the game. But it's really fun to be in such an active fandom or to like see so many people actively cosplaying from the same fandom as a cosplayer, especially because the designs are just so beautiful. People are calling it a dating sim. 50% TRPG, 50% dating sim. That's fair. Everybody's just in it for the babes, for the hot babes and the cute boys. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do well. I'm gonna plan things one thing at a time. I'm not gonna say I need to make 10 different cosplays this year or whatever. I have some other things in mind, cosplays that I've talked about doing. Oh, hi, the Shadow of Twilight. Seems like a new new viewer, perhaps. It's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too, thanks for coming by. Um, I have more cosplay ideas for this year. Actually, a lot of simpler costumes, but I chose this one because because of my friends. Um, but I still have a lot of different Zelda costumes. Not necessarily Zelda herself, although sometimes Zelda herself. But I want to do various more costumes from the Legend of Zelda series. Because that one is probably closest to my heart over the years. This is my last piece to put beveled edges on. The shoujo kitsune says, I could cosplay everyone in Black Eagles and then Photoshop myself as a group photo. That uh, would certainly be interesting. I mean, there's some cosplayers who unironically do that and it's cool. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, how do you have this much time and effort to put into one series? <laughs> Don't you want to diversify a little? But sometimes they don't. Do what you do. Nice. And that is the end of my beveling right now. Cool. Box and boxes doing their own gel nails. That, yeah, that counts as a craft. That's an art form. 
Um, I'm gonna take a really quick break and go to the bathroom because it's been about two hours of streaming. But I honestly want to keep going on this. I feel like I'm on a roll. I need to start putting some design lines on different pieces. I might punch some of these holes or I might wait a bit. I feel like getting ahead of myself on. Oh, you know what? I could do um, burnished edges because these pieces are going to be painted. All right. I'm going to go take a quick break and then I will be right back and I'm going to continue streaming after about a five minute break or whatever. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm back and I have returned with the king. Here you go. He's so sleepy right now. He's like groggy. <laughs> Baby boy. Hi, I'm sorry that I interrupted you, Zach. For the people who wanted to see you. See the leather work I've been doing? I'm making another costume. And here he is next to his shirt. <laughs> you wanna just stay cozy on my lap? He says yes. He's like still out of sight. Come on, baby boy. Lap cat. He is a lap cat. He's a really big lap cat. Oh. It's nice to take a brief little Aries break. Make sure that he gets his attention during the day. Do 
just to give a moment to truly appreciate what a majestic creature he is. Oh, hi there, Noir. Welcome. My Effie house would be the Golden Lions. I agree. Or Red Lions or something like that. <laughs> Are you sleepy? I'm sorry I woke you up. It's just that you've uh, been so reclusive lately. He hates kisses, but I give them to him anyway. Does he have a collar? No, he doesn't like wearing them. And he's an indoor cat, so he doesn't really need one. He never goes out. Oh, you want to stay there? I actually have to get up and get another tool. Well, now I'm stuck here. <laughs> I need to get my other tools. I know I should have planned on that before I went and aroused you from your sleep. You look very precious and sleepy. All right, the leather looks like a face. It does. Here, you entertain the crowd while I go get the right tools. B or B. Q-tips. Aries, will you run upstairs and get me some Q-tips? Oh, you can't because you don't have thumbs. <laughs> Mythic Phoenix husband says, Atelier Aries, go! Oh, that was a good shake. Big shake. Do I comb him often? Um, I brush him sometimes. He does a pretty good job of keeping himself groomed, but I do brush him occasionally and either collect his fur or just clean him up. I still need to get my Q-tips. Sorry the stream got a little bit derailed. But you know, the fluffy voice shows up. And then uh, my priorities change. Why don't I have Q-tips down here? That would be so smart. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to climb into my lap, but did a very bad job. Or he just like slapped himself down, just like flopped into my lap that was not really ready to hold him. Aries hour is important. That Aries flop. Okay, I need to go get those Q-tips or I'm not gonna be able to keep going. Do you wanna stay here or you wanna come with me? <laughs> I'm gonna leave you here and let you make your decision for yourself. I'm gonna grab Q-tips and be right back to keep streaming. What are you gonna do, Aries? I'm gonna call you and you gonna stay. Aries shirt is covered with authentic Aries hair. <laughs> He's exploring. 
Well, now he's at least down here. <laughs> and are you heading out? Are you gonna go back to sleep? All right, this is gum trag acanth, which is, smells like Lysol. And it's gonna help me burnish the edges of this project. So here it is, here's some goo. Let me swap my camera angles again. And he's gone, he's out. Oh, it is like a little face. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right, great. Burnish glue, that's right. So the way that this stuff works is I'm going to use some of this weird gel and apply it along the edge with my Q-tips that I just went and got and sacrificed Aries comfort for. And then this is a just like a plastic wheel. It has an indention on the side. So now through the friction and the pressure of rolling this wheel along the side of my leather, it's gonna create a smooth hardened edge that will look way more professional than the uh, fuzzy, Burnish, or not burnish, fuzzy edge. Oh, is he? Hey, Aries. You can come, come hang out with me again. I've still got your stool set up over here. Oh, he's not interested. He's gonna play hard to get it. <laughs> but basically, I'm lubricating the edge with this goo so that I can then use the wheel. There is a Sunday. Yes, he is. He's very moody and he wants attention, but he doesn't want to work for it. Hi there, Ariel Reavers. Welcome to today's stream. I feel like I'm really on a roll with this leather work. Leather, leather. I like how he's now positioned himself just barely on camera so you can see him in the background so you know he's there. <laughs> but he refuses to come over and say hello. Okay, in just a minute, I will pause and show you what all this does. Strike the iron leather while it's hot. I mean, hell yeah. If I'm in the mood to keep going, then I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna do a longer stream if we can. It's already been about two hours, so. I feel like I've definitely reached the minimum, but I'm gonna keep going. So this edge is now compressed and smooth. Unfortunately, it's not super in focus. Come on camera, will you auto focus? There we go. Now when you compare that to the fuzzy side of the same piece, there's a pretty big difference. This is going to look even nicer when it's painted because this burnished edge is going to be um, a much more smooth surface for paint compared to trying to paint that fuzzy unfinished leather. It would be a bigger pain in the butt. But Gally Wally is asking, how long have I worked with leather? I learned how to do this back in 2014, so I guess that's a good six years, wow. Cool, I didn't even think about that recently. Um, Aladeen, Aladeen is going to crash. Thanks for showing up and joining us for a while on this stream, and I hope you have a good night. I haven't been really productive with leather work anytime recently, but I guess I learned about six years ago and I haven't been 
challenged by any more ambitious projects in the last probably two years. So it's been a little while since I've been regularly working with this, but I would love to get back to it and create another good habit of using my skills and then hopefully learning to monetize them better by selling more of my work. The Aries merch sells its stuff, self. I mean, it should. <laughs> Buy my Aries merch! He's up, he's gone on to other things. But yeah, at the very least I am very entertained by my own Aries shirt and notebooks. A couple of different people have gotten notebooks so far, so it's good to know that people are getting more creatively, I guess. And I really love the artwork that I uh, commissioned for this piece, so. Buy the Aries merch so that when he walks away, you can still have an Aries by your side. That's beautiful. Thanks, Bishojo Kitsune. <laughs> I'm gonna do more like stickers and little things like that. Probably be a good direction to go in. but I'll just keep working my way up over time. See what people like. All right, we're almost done with this piece. Maybe burnishing all my edges would be a good goal for this stream. There's cats in three houses. I don't think I've encountered a cat. Well, I haven't been like, Playing, like gameplay wise, I've been like basically watching a compilation of all the cutscenes um, in like a movie style, the way it's edited together. But um, that sounds really cute. I can hug Ares in the Byleth cosplay and it will be in character. That's good to know. I'll have to do some cute photos where I'm all dressed up and take pictures of Aries with me. You can feed them in the DLC. Oh my gosh. Thank you all for these very important video game updates. That is uh, just spurring on my interest. All right, now this piece is done. I've done burnished edges all the way around. Nice. It also darkens the color. So this is wet and it's gonna lighten up a little bit, but those edges are gonna be permanently darker than the rest of the piece, which is kind of kind of cute, I guess. I'm gonna finish my ice latte before it melts. The characters in the DLC even have a stray dog and cat popularity poll. Nice. My only complaint with Breath of the Wild is that you can't pet the dogs. That needs to always be a thing in video games. Can you pet the dogs? I think there's a Twitter account for that, right? Where it's just like, goes through all these different video games and tells you, can you pet the dog in the game or not? Hopefully that will be fixed in Breath of the Wild too and we can pet the dogs. Because you can interact with them a little bit, like you can feed them meat and stuff. But they don't let Link pet the dogs, which is a bummer. Which is illegal, actually. <laughs> there was concept art of Breath of the Wild where your horse could nuzzle you. Oh, I want that. I want to get nuzzled by my horse.
Yeah, I like never kill the foxes in Breath of the Wild because they're cute. I'll kill the wolves, but only because they attack you first. Foxes run away, but wolves run tw towards you to attack you. So that's kind of a, it's kind of the difference in which animals I will kill or ignore in my in my trek through Hyrule. Link is a vegetarian in your playthrough. That's fair. That's kind of funny. You want to register a deer as a mount? Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that you can't. Or have you ever been able to mount one of the mooses? One of the meese? I know that's not a word. Let me use it. <laughs> Let me have this. I just want to mount a meese. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Breath of the Wild just like cooking and trying new recipes. I, was, I had a friend over playing together one day. He was just like, how do you know all of these recipes? I was like, sat here and tried them. It's the kind of game that you really have to like well, I mean, I'm sure you can enjoy it on a cursory playthrough if you're just trying to get through the plot or whatever, but the real joy in that game for me just comes from spending a lot of time exploring and like truly cre becoming familiar with the world and the space and the items in it. Mythic Phoenix said they backed a Kickstarter for a cookbook inspired by video game food and all the graphic design was very Breath of the Wild. I wonder if that was the same one that Lee was talking about. Because my friend told me about a Breath of the Wild cookbook that had been like fan funded. I think she might have done some art for that book. If it's the same one, it might be a different one. But my friend Lee does a lot of zines for, a lot of art for zines. Legends cookbook. I'll ask her. I'll ask if that's the same one because she might have been involved with that. I could be wrong, but I know that uh, at the very least she's what I told me it existed. Yeah, I'm still obsessed with Breath of the Wild. I'm still playing Breath of the Wild. I didn't play, I have not played the last few nights because I've been working very hard and doing productive things around my house. Here's the difference between this burnished piece and this identical piece that is not burnished. Oh, hi. We have a, a, a boy has returned. Hello. Hi, hello. You have to come over here. I'm just gonna adjust our camera a little bit to show more if he comes up to the table. Come on. You have to help yourself. So you have to think, because I'm not always gonna just reach down and get you, you have to come up here. You have to take some initiative to get my attention. Oh, it's almost 5 p.m. He might be, he might be complaining about his food bowl. And I have to go to the store. I have to go to the store. Your food is at the store. Mm-hmm. Oh, good night, Donut. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Nice to see you. I will fill your bowl, but you have to wait a little bit because I had to go to the store. I'm really sorry. That's my fault. I messed up. I forgot to put cat food in the cart the last time I was there. And now I'm going to make a special trip just for you. <laughs> I think he was disappointed. Yes, he is very talkative. He also has the voice of a kitten, which is hilarious to me that he's so large and his voice is so small. There he is. You can hang out with me, but I don't have anything to put in your bowl yet. You have to wait. I'm sorry. I know waiting is not your favorite thing, but food will be coming. Mm. 
Well, now we'll see how long my stream lasts with a hungry baby at my side. He's totally fine, by the way. He had a nice big meal today. He got like a whole can this morning. Excuse me, what are you doing? Don't eat that, that's for fairy houses. <laughs> He's chewing on this. No, don't eat that, that's for fairy houses. I need that. It just fell. I'll keep it over here. Here, look. <laughs> she just slips. There we go. What if you get some more lap time? Would that make you more amenable to waiting for your dinner a little bit longer? If you were sitting in my lap, would that make everything okay? Well, it certainly helps. All right, he's gonna pop a squat. <laughs> when he says he's hungry, he's hungry. That's true. He's also just very demanding about food. I mean, he's a cat, so I think that all cats cats frequently are like, um, excuse me, I can see the bottom of my food dish, which means I'm starving to death. And so he's a bit of a drama king. But he keeps me entertained. He's a very good companion. Oh, bye. Goodbye. Farewell, Aries. Because he woke up and immediately sought out food. That's his M.O. <laughs> oh yes, he also does a thing where he just eats the gravy out of the cat food and leaves the rest. So I started mixing it up and like shaking the can before I open it and it tends to help. So that it's not just all the gravy on the top. A fat cat. Oh, hi there, Nexi says, been kind of watching, mostly lurking. Oh, while well, you clean, what are we doing? What am I doing? Um, you know, I just got this leather work going on. <laughs> that was probably directed at other people in the chat, but what's everybody up to? Let me know if you are currently working on your own creative project. I know a lot of people have already answered, but there's always new people coming in and out, so if you're hanging out, working on something creative or productive, feel free to share. Oh, what is the circle thing you're asking about what's up here? So I am burnishing the edges of my leather work. Um, previously on the stream, oh, that one didn't get beveled on the back. Well, I'm going to fix that. Um, previously on this leather working stream, I cut out all of my pieces. I blended them down. Oh, hi, Raspberry Marie. No, this is not wax. This is um, gum tragacanth, which is a gel that's used for burnishing the edges of the leather. And so what I'm doing is, well, right now I'm going back a step because I somehow missed this. Beveling the edges from the back like so. And then now I will use this goo to um, lubricate the edge and this plastic wheel has a groove in the side of it so that it can polish this edge. It's compacting the fibers together with um, friction and pressure to create a smooth, nice, solid edge instead of a fuzzy edge, which will hopefully be a little bit easier to see soon. All right, Nikolai, have a good night. Glad you could make it for part of the day. Oh, interesting. Rena is saying that the reason why cats complain about being able to see the bottom of their food bowl is because it's harder for them to eat out of a tiny bowl. 
Yeah, I've seen some cat dishes that are advertised as being like better for cats when they're very flat and wide so that they don't have like sharp edges or like angles, I guess, at the bottom of the bowl. But I didn't, uh, I did not invest in one of those for Aries, so maybe that's what he needs. Yeah, Nexie, I hope that made sense. Um, getting some nice smooth edges, which these are going to be painted pieces rather than dyed. So um, having a smooth, firm edge on the leather rather than a fuzzy, fibrous edge helps a lot for getting the paint to lay down smoothly. I'm about to cut the edge off of this q-tip or the end off of this q-tip a well, part of the armor is this asks alex rend this is i have a mock-up where did i put my mock-up this is the um gauntlet i suppose that's the word for it right aries where did you put it <laughs> i had a mock-up Where'd you put it? He's like, what? Where did I put it? Hmm. Hmm. I'll show you momentarily when I find it. Gauntlet or bracers? Oh yeah, probably bracers. Bracers is probably the more accurate term. So I'm working on... Oh, there it is. My mock-up fell down underneath Aries' chair. This is the bracer. This is my mock-up for the bracer and how it will be assembled and fit together. And this is what I've got. It'll have a little bit more detail and shape to it, but these leather pieces are now cut out to match each one of these pieces of the foam. So the foam is like a sample for what I'm going to now create out of leather. I guess I can partially blame Aries for the mock-up ending up under his chair. It's probably not his fault. But yeah, now I am. In this stream so far, I cut the leather, sanded the edges to make them smooth, beveled the edges to make them round, and now I am burnishing the edges to make them solid. Thanks for the follow. Got several new followers in stream. Hope the cosplay leather work is interesting to those of you who are just tuning in. And I still have some surface tooling to do after this, which a lot of the time I would actually do that before burnishing the edges but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference on this project and I wanted to just keep a steady piece a steady pace working along I'm starting to finally feel hungry so I commiserate with you Aries I know how you feel finish my latte Out. Yeah, leather work gets pretty repetitive, but it's very straightforward. And if you can do the individual steps, then you can also put together more complex projects. This is another tool that basically does the same thing. It has various rings up here. You can also just use the, the edge like so. I'm going to use this to really get into the 
kind of interior curves here. Hi, Chardito. <laughs> what kind of latte was it? Plain latte. I don't get flavor in my lattes. I'm just an actual coffee addict. <laughs> But this has been a very productive stream today. Where I'm well on my way to having some bracers. I've just gotta work on each piece individually. After this, which will definitely not be today, but maybe in a coming stream, I will tool the surface of each of these pieces to get some of the details on the surface and then wet molding and then painting and assembly and we need to be painted before assembling and really it should probably be wet molded before doing the edges like this but it's fine. Sometimes you can work out of order or change the order depending on the piece and needs of each piece, but I'm getting my groove back. <laughs> I'll refine my process as I go. Fox and Boxen is almost done doing her gel nails. That's awesome. I would love to see what they look like when you're done. You can put that in the makeup channel on Discord if you're wanting to share. What should we have for dinner? He's like cat food. I will probably make myself something else. Some rice and veggies. Usually my go-to. Aries will have cat food. Aries ask for sushi. Oh, sushi sounds good. What's for dinner? I don't know. Gotta decide that. I guess I still have some time. Especially if I go to the store for Aries. Which I will. Share my dinner? No. You can make your own. I have done so much progress on this stream. It's kind of crazy to think of it. None of this was even traced when I hit go live a couple of hours ago. You already had your dinner? Oh, a baked potato does sound nice. I have baked potatoes. I could definitely eat a baked potato. I have some bacon too. I can make myself some fresh bacon and put that on my potatoes. Okay. So I have these three pieces, which are actually, they're larger than my other pieces, but they have flat edges. So this might be, or relatively flat edges, fewer curves and things. So we'll see how long this takes. Yeah, I've gradually got better at making making better meals for myself. I eat okay. I could certainly do better. So a recipe for shepherd pie baked potatoes. That sounds good. Oh, 
Just one more. No, baby, not really. Uh, Aries got so excited when he thought I was walking toward the kitchen. Sorry for that fake out. Alright, last couple of pieces. I can definitely get through this to today's stream. And there is more progress. Everybody's talking about food in the chat. You're just gonna make me hungry. That's okay. I need to eat too. Well, the work is nice and methodical. Once you have a general idea of what you're doing, you can just kind of go through the steps. It's almost time to treat myself, indeed. I've almost gone through my little cup of gum drag right here. Oh, that works to just rotate it. It's kind of still too tight in that corner. Let me go back to this one. Your little footstep. Mm -hmm. He's back to keep begging for his dinner. Yes, we will eat soon. I'm trying to finish my work. But yeah, today has been super productive. Got leather pieces to show. Feels like it used to take longer to get to this stage, but I guess everything is prolonged when you like do all of your armor at the same time. Just, I mean, it's probably more efficient to like pattern, cut, etc., one step at a time, but it's easier to keep track of your pattern pieces when you do like bracers and then greaves and separate days and things. I'm nearly done with this piece. And then I will go feed my hungry cat and my hungry self.
This has been a somewhat longer stream for me. I do want to keep challenging myself to do longer streams in general. So it's good that I'm getting my averages up, my stream time. And just gradually improving my work with each stream, I hope. I'm doing well, thank you, Zippity. I'm doing my best. Yes, burnishing these edges that were kind of messy looks way better now. My interior corners were not cut super cleanly. Luckily that isn't going to be visible on the finished piece, but it's still just annoying. For enjoying your time while working, that's good. It's definitely the best I can do. It helps a lot to just have people with, with me virtually while I work on my stuff. A nice, uh, I don't know, it puts me in a better mood. I'm feeling less alone. So, thank you to everybody who has tuned in so far and been a part of this cosplay progress. I am happy to be getting back in it. And I definitely appreciate the encouragement. It goes a long way towards, um, you know, my daily mood and improvement and just like feeling like I am on the right path. There's still a lot that's up in the air in my life. Um, still trying to figure out how to get my income up further still trying to settle my divorce <laughs> and I'm sure that there will be many more changes in this coming year um, career wise and lifestyle wise but I'm not as afraid of change anymore oh hi Wilfax tuning in for leather work yes we are doing we am doing leather work all day and uh, trying to wrap these last two pieces up so that I can go make dinner for myself and my hungry son, Aries. Oh my gosh, he's sitting right out of view, like around this corner, and he's just like completely motionless. He looks like a sphinx or something. It's just like ultimate dramatic. <laughs> Um, hi Sam Jackson lover, are you asking about what this project is? This is um, my leather version of this mock-up that I made the other day. So the pattern pieces match, this one is just kind of like a test piece to get an idea of how things are going to fit and be shaped and how those pieces will fit together. So. I made a lot of progress today, actually. Oh, you mean like, what am I going to make for dinner? Hmm. Well, I've been talking about that too. I have some options. I already said baked potato or rice and veggies, which are always solid choices. We are nearly done burnishing these pieces. 
I have this one and this other one left to do. And then that'll be it for today's stream, but I'll keep going with more, more stuff soon. I might swap projects tomorrow and do like some crochet or something. I don't know. On one hand, I want to keep going with something that's already been established, like a, a product project that I've already shown and we'll keep working on stuff. But on the other hand, the ball's deep in these leather pieces. Maybe I will just keep going on this. I could work on my forest floor rug some more. That was Fox and Boxen's suggestion. Yeah, that one's been on my mind of like something I'd like to do some more progress on. And that would be a very chill stream too. So maybe. Rena Bean, feeling exhausted and you're gonna head out. All right, well, I hope that your evening improves and you get some nice rest. The rug needs some love. I agree. I haven't worked on it in like almost a month. I just have like food on the brain. <laughs> Sorry, I've been a bit more quiet for the latter half of this stream. Now I'm just thinking about my dinner. Yeah, I might do the rug tomorrow. Might do more leather work. I don't know. I've got options. a good question is also what would you you streaming regulars like to see because I like to mix it up and new crafts tend to draw in new people but you guys the ones who are here on a regular basis are also the ones who you know are most affected by what I choose to make so please do put in requests if you want to see more like the next step in the leather work if you want to see more forest rug Please do vo voice your opinions because I will definitely take that into account. Um, I always have my own ideas and I always have lots of options, but you know, I might pick different things based on what kind of feedback I hear. Mythic Phoenix would love to see more of the forest rug. I'd love to see more of your forest rug, but yeah, that sounds good. Um, I definitely want to keep like sprinkling those old projects in like if I don't finish something in one go or in like a few consecutive streams, I might take a break on it, but then come back in a week or something like that. Sam Jackson lover likes the walks. I like those too. I guess I could take the weather into account when I decide, make my decision tomorrow. Shy Turtle is saying that they love to see progress on this cosplay every once in a while. That will definitely keep happening. Don't worry. That one is like a... This one will be a constant presence in the streams. Maybe not like every single stream because once again, I would like to have some variety. Um, but I will definitely do at least some progress on this costume every single week. I 
All right, one more piece down. This is the last piece to burnish the edges, and then after that, I'll end my stream. Aries will be very happy. He's like staring at me with hopeful eyes, like, Mom, please, please, I need a fresh can of food. I got you, little boy. Give me like 10 more minutes. Okay. He says, okay. Um, okay. Bishojo Kitsune is asking, what is my, what are my plans for Byleth's sword? Isn't it bone-like? It is bone-like. The sword of a creator is what it's called. And it's a very beautiful item. Um, there are quite a few like prop kits available online. I've already done some research and looked at the prices and the, um, the styles and the different options and things. So I am going to be most likely purchasing ooh, one of those kits um, and then assembling it, sanding and painting. Whale Fax is asking, what does the burnishing do? The burnishing smooths and polishes the cut beveled edge that I've already prepared throughout the stream. And um, once again, showing you up close, I am packing those fibers in, lubricating it, and then the, the friction and the pressure creates a smooth, polished edge, um, as opposed to a fuzzy edge. <laughs> Sam Jackson will break their arm, or Sam Jackson lover is going to break their arm if I want to use a real bone. Yeah, sure. Can you just go ahead and do that and then mail me your bones and then I'll put that in my cosplay. Thanks. That's not, I'm not really going to do that, but thanks for offering to maim yourself on my behalf. That's kind of a big deal. Hi, Ninja K. <laughs> He says, no problem. Good. I'm glad that's, you know, convenient for you. <laughs> You're silly, but I like it. You guys keep me entertained too. So yeah, um, other projects that I've kind of had going on in the background is um, I've been updating my flower wall yet again. Uh, it's a, like a photography backdrop that I made a couple years ago and I keep changing it up and keep doing different things with it. So I need to really get more use out of it, honestly. Um, for a long time I felt frustrated because I had a photography partner that didn't want to do anything and now I do photography solo so I don't have to rely on anybody else. But it also makes it a lot more challenging of having to set up shots and model and press the shutter when you can't really see what's going on. You saw that on Twitter? Yeah, I've been updating along the way. But um, I took a little selfie in front of it, but with better lighting and a better camera, it looks even cooler, I think. So I'm, I'm going to stop being held back by not having the ideal scenario or whatever. And I'm just going to start pushing myself harder to make up for that. Start doing my own photos. We stand an independent queen. <laughs> I don't know if I fit that description yet, but I'm certainly trying. I've, you know, you gotta find ways to do things solo when you don't have a friend around to press that shutter for you. Thanks Wraith Knight and thanks Zippity. You're always, you're always flattering me. Ooh, got some in my eye, but I'm okay. Not that I mind. <laughs> All right, we're almost done with this piece. This is like the last edge. You hear that Aries? Oh, he finally, no, I thought he walked off. He's actually just sitting directly behind me and you still can't see him. He basically just creeped up closer on me. I thought he was gone, but no, he's actually right behind me creeping. 
Yes, Aries, this is the last section of the last piece, and then I'm gonna get you some more cat food. I hear you. He's hiding. He's creeping. He's not just hiding from the camera, he's just creeping on me. So yes, I am still in the process of adapting and learning Oh gosh, Aries is hiding because leather, got it. It's a pun. It's a pun. Aries is the main villain of this cinematic universe. No, he's not the main villain. He's my sidekick. I think you know who the villain is. <laughs> he's sending I want food signals with his mind. Yeah. Yes, he's using his telekinesis, or no, telekinesis is moving objects, telepathic, telepathis? <laughs> he saw a fluffy butt walk off. Yeah, he got offended. I think he got offended that you called him a villain, zippity zoot. He's not a villain, he's my sweet sidekick. Telepathy, that's what I'm looking for, telepathy. Telepathic is having the trait, telepathy is the trade itself. Thank you, Bishojo Kitsune. He's using his telepathy to let me know that it's dinner time. He's staring at me very hard so that I know how hard he's thinking in my direction. And with that, I have finished burnishing the last of these edges of the leather pieces that I cut for this stream. So throw that out, close that up, <laughs> um, Zippity says, to be fair, he trying to end the streams. Big Thanos energy. <laughs> All right, let me go back to my face cam. It's face stream time. Come on, baby, you gotta help me say goodbye to the audience. You're the one who ended the stream. Oh, this hungry boy is here to say goodbye. Yeah, we're gonna go get food. Hey, are you biting me on this stream? That's so mean. <laughs> All right, he's very antsy and I'm gonna go take care of him. Hi, Dooryard. This is the end of the stream. He's hangry. He needs to snack up something. He did not even leave a mark. He just like put his mouth on me and went, ah. <laughs> Yes, it's time for your dinner. Thank you for indulging me and coming to sit on my lap and say goodbye to people. Thank you all for tuning in to my stream. Yeah, come on, come on. You can jump away, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go take care of this cat. He needs his dinner and then I need my dinner. And we will be back tomorrow streaming something, um, either streaming from the park or streaming another craft. Um, and so the options are park stream, cosplay stream, forest rug stream, one of those things will happen. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining in and being a part of my stream today. I will be <laughs> back tomorrow and thank you as always for your support and just hanging out with me and chatting. Okay, goodbye everybody!